play everyone's talking about, the play that led to a heartbreaking loss Saturday night at Illinois. Third and seven from the Illinois 27, just over a minute to play. The Illini, no timeouts, and some clarification on that play called today. Mike Riley said the play is normally a pass play, but it said he sent it in specifically as a run. But the Huskers weren't in correct formation, which led to penetration, which led to an incomplete pass. Today, both coach and quarterback take the blame. The quarterback just reacted like an athlete. You know, some got in his face and he just reacted. So you can't blame him. That goes back to my training of the quarterback. And so um, that's, that's really what that was at that time. And it, it's just uh, uh, disappointing. Saw the vine open, tried to get him the ball. If it was a catch, nobody, no one would talk about it today. He dropped it. It's on me, you know. I was supposed to run the ball. I didn't run the ball. Yeah, Armstrong also said he didn't want to take a sack so they would stay in field goal range. That didn't matter since the Huskers threw another incompletion on fourth down with 55 seconds left, which gave Illinois one last chance to win the game, which they did with 10 seconds left. All right, injuries. Kevin Maurice just played his best game of the Huskers out for a month with a foot injury. Kevin Williams will miss his stri second straight game with a thumb injury against Wisconsin. On the positive side, Jack Anguish saying he felt good after limited action at Illinois, his first playing time since the opener. Mike Riley's also hopeful to have Vincent Valentine back. And no disciplinary action announced for senior captain Alex Lewis. Lewis blowing kisses and made some disparaging remarks as he left the field Saturday. Jordan Westerkamp just told reporters that Lewis did apologize to the team. Nebraska and Wisconsin Saturday, 2.30 kickoff right here on KETV. Then a week from Saturday, it's Nebraska at Minnesota. Also a 2.30 kickoff. It will be televised on either KETV, ESPN, or ESPN2.